642, welcome back to Good Day Columbia, and it is the great paradox. Yeah, the better you're trained, the less likely you are you're going to need the training. But the fact is, there may be a time when you actually do. But then there's the question of physical strength. I mean, let's face it, some great big men are just stronger than the ladies. So what's a woman to do? Get trained, get educated. This weekend, there is an opportunity for you, ladies, moms, sisters, wives, to get some basic... No, <laughs> sometimes that happens live in the studio about how to protect yourself, not against falling sticks, but against perhaps a bad guy. Joining me this morning, Captain Chris Cowan from the Richland County Sheriff's Office and Sensei Brian Pena. Good morning from the Karate Dojo in Lexington. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Sorry about the studio. Yeah, that's all right. Off. It was a good uh, kind of send that message Wake, home there. Wakes you up. It's it accented. Right. Uh, but it, it really is just a matter of, of getting training and what to do if and when that in, that instant happens when you need it. Right? It's it's all about you know preparing your mind, your body, being physically and emotionally and mentally prepared for right. for anything. That, and then again, it goes back to it's not if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to sure. happen. So the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Association is doing training for law enforcement all across the state. But the other thing we're trying to do is do training um, in and around the state for citizens for right. our wives our hus our, our daughters you know and 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 really just create an opportunity of, of reminding people of how important it is to be prepared and you know we were just talking about you know protecting yourself from identity theft and you know, have to yeah. be vigilant there but you've got to be vigilant in your physical surroundings as well since uh, you know your karate dojo over in lexington i bet you see a lot of that too just some simple basics to keep people safe right absolutely just being aware of your surroundings and right. forbid you ever have to use any sure. of this stuff so this class this weekend, I know that uh, Lieutenant Tina Gooding is uh, over here about to uh, lay the smack down on me, but y'all got a, a class this weekend designed for the ladies. That's and right. as you talk about that, Chris, I'm going to go ahead and step on over here and have the tar sacked out of me. Well, 9 to 11 this Saturday um, in Irmo at the Karate Dojo. It's a great opportunity for, for people to come out and get prepared. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we'll see some of the, the techniques that are going to be, and we're hoping that you don't get hurt. Well, actually, we took bets off, off stage. To see what, do you have like an over and under whether I'm going to get hurt or That's not? That's right. Oh, good gosh. All right, all right, Lieutenant. What are we, uh, what are we gonna do to me today? First, first thing we're gonna do is I want you to grab me around the neck like this. Grab me. I'm good, I'm good <laughs> about to get hurt, aren't I? Okay. There, so you grab me. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first thing that someone would need to do is one, I have to know what's happening, so I have right. to be very aware. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring my arm straight up. Okay. Then I'm gonna turn in, then I'm gonna come down right on the, your forearms. Oh, Okay. And uh, on again. this front nerve, okay? Okay. You ready? Go ahead. Here. Yep. Turn. Yep. Down. Oh, that's going to break the strike. That's Did really good. Did you feel it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your, <laughs> yeah. Like, the grip, it gets kind of weak in your right. arms, okay? Now, the trick is you got to do it quick. You don't want to do it slow, right? right. Or is that, I mean, you want to well, surprise the Well, when you're again? learning self-defense, you really need to learn the, the moves, the actual okay. what you're doing and why you're doing it, because if they're just going to, because most, most women are just going to freeze. Right. And so I have to tell them why they're doing it. So when they're raising their arm, they're trapping these fingers. Okay. And then when they turn in, the grip already is loosened because your oh, thumb yeah, yeah. is off. And then this is to, to, to hit this nerve right. and to make your hands kind of tingle and then oh it does so you know you hit that it's like almost like the funny bone can you do it this way and turn it so the folks at home yeah. can see that as well just you can twist that way so you can see what you're doing so go over yeah. your left hand here yep turn and come straight down like that. you gotta watch out we almost knock hands like the three suits there as well what's the next okay so you do that and i what what do you do, do you just get out or what do you do i mean the, you wanna... the most important thing is getting out of the situation as quickly as you can mm -hmm. Um, so getting them off of you. But then there's right. also some follow-up moves. Um, one of the really good uh, follow-up moves is to kick uh, to the shin. I'm <laughs> gonna do she that said to kick you. and then took a minute. <laughs> uh, fellas, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> so kick to the shin. Um, one, because you can be, I don't have to be as close to you. Okay. Um, and any, no matter how big uh, anybody is, whether they're a man or a woman, oh, there's, hurt. there's just bone there. That's all you're hitting. And right. so you can kick them in the shin. Um, once they're Distracted. All you want, you want to just make sure you get out of the situation. Right. Um, get to help. Call the police. Just run. Um, if you got to do more moves, there's all there's there's a plethora of moves that you can do, and we'll go over probably uh, about a hundred of them on Saturday. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to come back in just a little bit, learn a couple more moves, and also more about the class being taught this weekend at the Karate Dojo uh, with Sensei Brian and the Richland County Sheriff's Office and Lieutenant Tina Gooding. Thanks for that. And thanks for not hurting me too much. But we're going to come back, and maybe she'll still put the hurt on me. And so uh, details for you at watch.com as well on this class. So I got to stick around. We got a lot more Good Day Columbia on the way. I'm going to get a Band-Aid, and we'll be back. All the whole time, hoping you never actually have to use your skills in your training. And if you know, we're talking about self-defense, of course, and specifically about the ladies, you know, your mom, your wife, your sister, 
and what they can do when faced with somebody, man or woman, who's larger than them. And thanks to the South Carolina Law Enforcement Association, there's a class this weekend designed and geared right for the ladies. Chris Cowan, Captain Chris Cowan from Richmond County Sheriff's Office, and Sensei Brian Pena joins us from the Karate Dojo. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. So South Carolina for Law Enforcement Association, uh, you can be a part of that even if you're not a, a cop, right? Well, the Law Enforcement Officers Association is an organization for police officers, mm -hmm. for sheriff's deputies across the state of South Carolina. Um, it's a program, it's an organization that's designed to protect the protectors. It's, it's right. in place to help provide services and resources and, and training for officers. But we also reach out to the community. Uh, we also reach out for crime prevention purposes. Mm -hmm. and, and this training going on Saturday is one example of that, of, of what we do every day in law enforcement is preparing our minds and our bodies to, to be out patrolling our communities and making sure. our communities safer. Uh, but this training is designed specific for civilians. It's de designed for two hours of self-defense training because, you know, we're always talking about it. You and I have talked about it on this program before about being prepared, not when, if it's going to happen, but when it's going to happen. Yeah, sure. And this training does just that. It, it, it prepares you to be mentally and mm -hmm. physically prepared for the event that you are attacked. Sure. And since, you know, again, it's, it's, you know, maybe it's not if it's a win. Um, this class isn't going to make you a black belt, but it's going to give you some real basics and, and how to get out of a situation right then and there. Absolutely. Whether it's basic or advanced techniques that they're learning, they're going to be able to react instantaneously, hopefully. Heaven forbid that situation does occur. And your dojo, by the way, Karate Dojo, is right across from the Grecian Guards, right on 378 West Columbia as well. And that's actually where the event and the class is taking place. And I guess I need to see I'm delaying the inevitable. Lieutenant Tina Gooding from uh, USC Police Services over here. And we've been learning some basic stuff. Join me. Let me let me unplug here. Join me over here. Follow me. Chris, is this going to hurt me a lot? Yes, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> hopefully. Awesome. Oh, sorry hey, Lieutenant, that. how are you? Hi, I'm wonderful. She got me all gun shy. I'm like a long tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs here. All right, so a few minutes ago we learned the chokehold. What's another good, like a, a common holder you might, whether you're in five points or, or wherever you are, somebody might come up and do? There's, they can do. We can't. We can't predict what they're gonna do. Sure. We can just train for what we're gonna do. Okay. And if someone's coming at you, a good way to get them away from you is a palm heel strike. Okay. So I'm, I'm coming up. So I'm walking. I'm going. Hey, baby. Yep. And I can palm heel okay. here to the chin. So it's gonna look like. Okay. You ready? Uh -huh. No. And then I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna knee either in the groin or the stomach, whichever comes first. No. Just like that. Just like that. And why is the why is the yelling important? Well, there's, there's several different reasons that we say no. Um, one is because it actually gives you more power. Okay. Um, another one is it scares your attacker. Another one is it lets people around you know what's happening. Okay. Um, and the, the, one of the most important ones is it helps you breathe. A lot of times in a combat situation, we have a tendency to hold our breaths. Right. And so this way you're breathing and you're getting oxygen to so your body. going brain in and, and out. Body. All right, let's see this one more time. For the, watch at home real quick. Go ahead. So I'm, I'm walking and go, what's up, pretty lady? No! No! And at that point, not only am I deaf in this year, at that point you probably, once they drop, inevitably, especially uh, gentlemen, there are certain areas that might put us on the floor quicker, you get out of there, right? Yes, sir. All right. Get now, out of the situation as quickly as you can. The stuff you're going to be teaching, you know, like I said, it's our wives and our sisters and our moms, the stuff you're going to be teaching is it's basics that you can actually get in a day, in two hours. They're going to have at least basics to be a little more confident. Absolutely. Absolutely. They should leave with a lot more confidence and be able to find their voice. And it's from children. We have some moms, daughters that come. and have kind of a family day and be able to learn some of this stuff together and then they can, you know, practice with each other. Fantastic. Easy stuff. Quick class. You join the SE uh, Law Enforcement Officer Association. Uh, Lieutenant Tina is going to train you down at uh, Sensei Brian's Dojo, the Karate Dojo on Augusta, on uh, uh, Sunset Boulevard. And of course, our Richland County Sheriff's Department partnership with uh, Captain Chris Cowan as well. Details at watch.com. Get out and be safe. Be prepared. Again, it's not if, it's going to be when. Just be prepared when it happens. You go home at night and you're safe. Guys, stick around. we got a lot more Good Day Columbia on the way. Stay with us. Hi, this is Pastor John Beakey, gospel recording artist, and you're watching Good Day Columbia.